One deal 17 years ago still pays all my bills, pays for me to go on holiday, all of those things. I made more money the day I sold that business than I'd ever made in the previous two and a half years running that business, working six, seven days a week. I want to share with you some experiences of buying businesses that you might find useful. And I think that even those of you who have bought businesses before, you realize that you don't know it all, right? And those of you who haven't yet bought a business, it might seem like an incredible mountain to climb uh, in front of you. But if someone breaks it down for you, gives you some rules to follow, gives you a system to follow, you'll find that you'll get to your result far faster than if you're making it up as you go along. But most of all, it's all about buying a business without risking your own cash. And th this is a fundamental concept of everything that we do at DealMakers. I often meet people who've gone through the business buying process before they met me, and they say, Jonathan, I made all the mistakes. I put my hat, oh, we've got some not nodding happening over here already. I put my house on the line, I put everything into a business Business, they handed me the keys and said good luck. So we're the UK's leading educator on M&A for entrepreneurs since 2016. Uh, 13,560 people by the last count have been on their business buying journey with uh, us. And today is really for two groups of people. If you own a business already, it's about growing faster by acquisition. And the other 50% is for individuals who want some sort of freedom. And I hear this word a lot when I do webinars and training, the word freedom, and it means different things to different people, doesn't it? So it can mean financial freedom, nothing wrong with that. It can mean time freedom, more time to do the things that you want. And quite often the money and the time go together. It's, it's two things that link very nicely. Buying a business is just so rewarding. And I put together a free training showing you exactly how I do it. If you look in the video description below this video, there is a link. You click the link, you're taken through to the training, watch the training, and I'll show you exactly how to buy a business successfully. I fell into M&A by accident 25 years ago. I had a publishing business. It was one of those businesses, and you might recognize this from your own experience. You make a little bit of money one month, you make a bit of a loss the next bit of money the next month and you make a bit of a loss and you're kind of keeping your head above water, but you're working so, so hard, but you're not seeing the results that you think that you should be getting. You're going to the office six days a week, but you're thinking about it seven days a week. And then someone came to me, um, his name was Alistair Chisholm from a company called Marcus Bond Associates. And he said to me, uh, I'd be interested in buying the magazine. Now I never thought that I would hear that. So we did the deal and I sold the magazine and on the Friday afternoon that I completed on that deal, they all seem to complete on Friday afternoons, I made more money the day I sold that business than I'd ever made in the previous two and a half years of running that business, working six, seven days a week. And my eyes were open to what is possible. But it always takes me a few goes before I, I sort of get the point. Uh, so I didn't learn all the lessons immediately, so I went and started another business. Now, we all know that starting businesses from scratch is hard, headaching work. It doesn't always prove successful. Now, this business actually took, like, took off like a rocket. Uh, we did about a million pounds of revenue in the first year of operating. And this was 25 years ago. This was 1999 when a million pounds really meant something. Not so much these days, right? And uh, I bought a, million, a multi million pound revenue competitor. Uh, in 2006, and that allowed us to consolidate the top of the market. Our profit went through the roof because we were no longer advertising against our competitors. They were our major competitor. I combined the two businesses. They were in Wolverhampton. We were in London at the time, put them together, and then I sold those to a private equity firm in what I always describe as a life-changing deal in 2007. The reason it was life-changing, apart from the fact that financially it was, it was kind of uh, quite a nice feeling, is that I am still living today off of the investments that I made, what is that, 17 years ago. When buying a business, you need a great lawyer on your team. So why not use mine? His name is John Andrews and his details are on the screen. One deal 17 years ago still pays all my bills, pays for me to go on holiday, all of those things because of the investments that I made with the money that I made from that deal. So I know that you have seen me interview people where they've done four deals, five deals, 35 deals in one case. You don't have to do that many. 
You can do one acquisition and one acquisition can change everything in your life. Uh, a couple of other interesting highlights. I bought a 30-year-old traditional marketing business. I bought a group of seven online marketing businesses from a, a very well-known London-based private equity firm for just one pound. But 11 months later after buying it, I was able to sell it for 1.25 million pounds. Now I certainly, you know, if, you, if you know me, or hopefully you'll get to know me, I'm not a boaster, I'm not a bragger, but I tell you this because if you know how this stuff works, then you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm.